murder complex is set in the futuristic Florida Everglades, um, and it focuses on Meadow, who's a 16-year-old girl who lives on a houseboat, and her father has taught her to do anything she can to get home at night, um, even if it means killing. And Zephyr James is the lead boy, and he is an orphan who has to scrape dead bodies off of the streets, um, but he also harbors a terrible secret. Um, one that has to do with the fact that every night when the dark time comes, hundreds of people are murdered. Um, their love story kind of happens when they meet on the street and trouble goes from there. Uh, I really connect to Meadow. I actually, when I started writing this story, I was really sick with chronic fatigue syndrome and I felt like I couldn't do things that most people my age were able to do. Um, and so I created Meadow, a girl who was fearless and strong and capable of doing anything that she put her mind to. And I don't connect with her in the way that she kills people, um, but she is very, very fearless and she will do anything that it takes to protect her family. Meadow has a really awesome family. Um, her father is very, very protective of her. He's taught her to do anything that she can to survive, um, even if it means killing. Uh, but my own dad is very protective of me in his own ways. He's very loving. Um, while Meadow's dad shows his love in sort of demented, strange ways, uh, my dad, I think, would do anything for me. I know that he would, and I think he was really the inspiration behind Meadow's father. Uh, this scene is actually the one that got put on the back of the book, and I'm, I'm really happy about it. Uh, Meadow gets... In, in the murder complex world, there's a lot of tattoos. People have barcodes on their foreheads, and the initiative who rules everything, they also have these creepy tattoos. And so I wanted Meadow to have a tattoo from her brother that isn't from the initiative. That is a good sign. Um, and so she actually got this fearless tattoo. And it is a constant reminder to her that it's okay to be fearless and strong in a world where most people are afraid. I always love to tell a story from two different perspectives. That's kind of the thing that I like to do just because I think you can really get into the heads of each character. I love to, to see what Zephyr feels like. He's kind of a pained person. He's not as fearless as Meadow, but he's strong in his own ways. And it's cool to see the difference between the two of them. Cool to see how their stories intertwine and clash. Uh, one time I read this newspaper article and it talked about this small town that was plagued by all these murders and I was really, really intrigued by that. Um, and I've always loved futuristic stories and so I wanted to put my own twist on it and put characters into this world that were not afraid to face the danger.